Hi, this is Lori from Violinist.com, and I wanted to tell you about something that I got for my birthday, which is a Yamaha electric violin. Okay, so I am completely, completely new to this whole world of electric violins, but I just, I just thought it would be fun to do something different. So um, this one, as you can see, is a five string. So it's got an E, A, D, and G, and also a C string. So all of a sudden I can do some fun viola-like stuff. Um, and you know, my first problem uh, to solve with this is that this, this violin plugs in. This is where it plugs in. So uh, making a sound because uh, it doesn't really make a sound until it's plugged in. So my good friend Jesus Florido came in and helped me um, get set up for about $150. Now you can spend a ton on really great equipment and that is not what I've done. What I've done is just basically your basic minimum to make a sound so that I can sort of start getting to know this violin so that um, when I do maybe invest in a little bit uh, fancier equipment I'll kind of know what I'm doing. So um, the first thing that we needed to do, well, first of all, he's actually lending me this amp. This is um, not an expensive one. This is uh, maybe I think $59, something like that. It's just a, a Fender um, amp. Uh, you know, I wouldn't use it for a stadium show. <laughs> just basically, it allows um, the violin to speak. Um, the, now, the other thing I had to do is get some wires. So here's what I did. I, I went to Guitar Center and and got these wires. They look like this. I got two 10-foot wires. Um, I decided to get one um, red one um, and one blue one. I didn't go for the very, very cheapest wires. Um, Jesus said that, you know, if you get really cheap Chinese made wires, they're just, they're not going to work. You know, you don't want to get something where it's going to short out in a week or something like that. So I got sort of the mid priced ones. And so each of these were like $19. Um, so that's that. Okay. Now the next thing I did, um, you have to have some kind of sound processing. So Jesus showed me that you can get an app. So I got this app. Um, it's called Jam Up Pro. Um, you open it up and you can put it on a setting. Right now I have it on awesome, clean violin. <laughs> so um, now there's a lot of different ways that I can set this up and um, I'm going to learn more about this, but this is just to get started. Um, then the next thing I needed, this was, I think, okay, this was like $40, okay, but this is a very important component. So this is called an iRig. So what this does right here is it allows me to plug in my, um, it, there's a little picture of an electric guitar. That's where I plug in the violin. This right here plugs into my phone. And then the other one plugs into the amp. So I have my blue cord to plug uh, my violin into. And then the red cord goes to the amp. So I'll show you how we do this. Um, let's see. So the blue plug. Here we go. Ta-da! And then the other side of the blue plug. Uh, uh, keep in mind, when you do this, you have to keep the amp off and you put the amp on the lowest volume possible. So I just plug that into here, into my violin. Okay, and then here's this again. So I take the red plug, plug it into here. Okay, um, the other plug into my phone. Voila, okay. Uh, now I'm plugging this into input. You can also, I believe, use headphones with this setup as well, if you need to. Okay, then the magic moment, did I do this right? Uh, you turn on the amp. I had to go turn on the power strip. <laughs> so, okay, so then the magic moment, you turn on the power, turn up the volume a little bit, 
make sure that this thing's on. If it, if it, you know, if, if the screen goes out, that means it won't make a sound. Um, and then whoa, it makes a sound and I've got like way too much reverb right now. Happening. Oh, that's it, okay. It, it got away from my awesome clean violin. I'm putting it back on awesome clean violin. And it really, you know what, this, the great thing about the Yamaha and one of the reasons that I wanted it is that it plays and sounds, you can make it play and sound like a, a real violin. If you want something different, um, you can also process the sound in a different way and get different effects and all kinds of things. You know, I haven't even begun to scratch the surface of that. Um, but look, you know, I, I can put my my own uh, shoulder rest on there, or you don't have to have a shoulder rest. Um, but you know, then you go to play it and. Um, <laughs> It sounds just like a regular violin, you know, um, if you wanted to. Um... Um, something I'm really getting used to, though, and this is going to be a big deal for me, is the, the C strings. So with five strings, it really, it puts the strings in enough of a different place that I'm totally messing up all my string crossings and getting very confused. Um, the D string is in the middle. I'm totally not used to having a middle string. So this is something really to get for me to get accustomed to. So being sort of the geeky classical musician that I am, the, my first step I've decided is that to get used to having a C string and uh, the sound of it and these string crossings, what I have decided to do is um, something I've never really gotten to, to study, which is the, the box suites. I know that sounds like a crazy thing to do on electric violin, you know, the, the improv and all that's gonna come later, but I want to get used to this instrument. So. I got this out. This is a really lovely arrangement of all the box suites um, done by Valerie Priebus Arsenault. It's, um, I'm not gonna try to read the other clef. This is all, <laughs> this is all written for a violin, but I am going to play it, you know, down a fifth, which is the proper place it's supposed to be. So that's my plan for now. I'll let you know when I reach the next uh, part of this journey, but basically to get set up and just to start uh, learning the the uh, geography of a different instrument of a five string, and then um, I'll probably start experimenting a little bit more with um, the sound that this instrument's making. Uh, but this is, I, you know, I I realize that there's just a whole new world of possibilities that I'm just at the edge of, but I wanted to share with you um, just this very little first baby step that I'm taking just to make a sound with this as I get to know the instrument and more to come. Thank you for watching and uh, join us on violinist.com anytime and on our, be sure to join our YouTube channel too.